do a practice mission for the fire flying. My grandmother, she made the best piece of mountain. I haven't been this scared since the first time I flew with you. Summer in Sweden. Warm and beautiful. We're going to beat you today. Today we're going to beat you! <laughs> <laughs> it's 20 kilometers in that direction and we are going there today. Yep. That was... Yeah. Nobody will get that joke. <laughs> <laughs> they will. <laughs> I, will, <laughs> I, will <laughs> I will use that. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Swedish BFR. Today we're gonna fly above uh, Batterifabriken. Yes, it's a very new fabric. Hopefully we have become a little bit better than that, since that. A bit calmer. More comfortable with the cameras. A little bit careless. <laughs> oh, we're getting a roof. We are going to do a practice mission for the fire flying this summer. So next up, Peter. <laughs> Let's go upstairs in here and leave the door open for a while, I guess. Radio Sigrid Erik Filipada, Olle taxar ut för start på 16. Here you can see the drag race track. That starts over there. And like half of the runway is a drag, uh, drag race trip. A drag trip. Peter Radio Sigrid Erik Filipada, Olle startar på 16. Ah, we're in the air! We are up! So should we fly to Piteå? Let's fly to Piteå! The land of the pout! I love pout! It's one of my favorite foods! Same here actually. And this is how you do pout. First you need the finest potatoes from Parpalas Potatis. Peel and grate them. Mix it with flour and shape the dough into lumps. Use pork from your local farmer. Slice and dice them into small cubes. Put the pork dices in the lumps and fold the dough over. Drop the pot in the boiling water for about an hour. Serve the pot with shitloads of butter and lingonberry jam. For complete recipe visit www.google.com now I know, but I already knew. But now all our fans know too. Oh yes, very interesting story. It's a uh, Peter's national dish. Peter the Pout. Peter the Pout. My grandmother, she made the best piece of mountain. <laughs> ah. She even gave me the recipe, but it's a secret. Ah. So here is the blurred recipe. <laughs> Pizza used to be famous for their paper mill where it smells. So you knew when you were driving past Pizza, it's because it started to smell like the worst part you've ever felt. Or like Zeus drumming. I think they made some improvements because I don't think it smells as much anymore. Yes, it does. 
We're what? just used to it. You spit this out! <laughs> yeah, we've been training. We were going to test the rocket system, but we quickly found out that it was very bad weather. You could barely see it out through the windshield. The storm was coming from the south towards the airport. We had two options. We could either land in Piteo or Frederick suggest. Hopefully we don't have to revert to Lula. So too. But that's always an option if we decided to go to Piteo to see if it was possible to land. And if it wasn't possible, we would go to Lulia. Final approach. Trim this sucker down now. Point of no return. Now we really need to make a decision. Either land this old bird or diverge. 80 kilometers further north, all the way to Luleå. It was a little bit side wind, so we decided to go a little bit fast, almost 80 knots. Almost down. Now we just need to wait for the ground effect. The plan was to use the ground effect to slowly go and then do a perfect landing. Suddenly, the wind changed from being a little bit on the side to be tailwind. The plane just went down. <laughs> perfect landing! <laughs> Whoa! Jesus Christ! That's... And my speed was good! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, the wind has changed. I haven't been this scared since the first time I flew with you. <laughs>